Hey guys, I'm back with a video today and well, if you saw my last video dyeing my hair green I also actually cut two inches of it so it's pretty short now but also today I'm doing a video of my spy makeup which was inspired by Manly's video which I just saw so if you like this look keep watching because I'm using makeup that I used from 2017 it's now 2020, so it's about two to three years old. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I don't really have too much breakouts at the moment, but let's use Rimmel's Hide the Blemish Concealer, which I bought on the 9th of July, 2017. I actually like this concealer, so I bought another one, and then obviously I haven't used it. Because I think now 2017 was the year where I started building my makeup collection. So now I have like 30 different concealers and I never reach for this one. Let's apply this. Oh my god. Can you see that colour? It's darker than my skin tone. That didn't do much, especially since I don't really have spots. So let's move on to foundation. So this is where MAC comes in. In 2017, I decided to buy the whole makeup foundation range. I've literally tried every foundation for MAC apart from face and body because I like full coverage. I don't think I've tried the mineralized one and I think there's another one I haven't tried and also like last year they bought out their stick foundation. But I've basically tried it all. Studio, Pro Longwear, Studio Sculpt, the, the powder studio version one. I've tried it all. I bought this MAC foundation on the 16th of April 2017. Let's apply this. I kind of like, I think I like this foundation. And I love MAC because it's the only one that I've like noticed that does my shade and my undertone at the same time. It's thick, full coverage, like you can't go wrong, except from the hefty price tag because this is I think this foundation is £27 so oh actually it's smelling a bit funky so <sighs> it's a good thing that I ain't got breakouts because then tomorrow when I wake up and I've got a spot and I wonder why so for under the eyes I think we should go in with a different concealer which is also for MAC it's the Pro Longwear I didn't actually buy this myself I bought it on Depop but when I bought in deep of it, it was still quite full. I don't ever grab for this concealer and it's already third way down. Maybe because it's gone off, but it kind of evaporated. And I also don't like it because when you pump it out, it just all comes out at once. So if I pump it on my foundation brush, I mean concealer brush. Let's move on to powders. Now powders, whether it's face powder, eyeshadow powder, bronzer, blush, I just don't think they will ever go off. You could probably have eyeshadow for 10 years and it will be fine. So let me see what my oldest powder is. Next I'm going to use the powder from Makeup Gallery, which if you knew the £1 makeup challenge that happened years ago, I basically did a full face of this and this powder is actually quite good as you can see I've hit pan. Because I've got so many powders now I don't actually reach for it but I do like it. I think I might have been trying to save it because my local pan shop kind of burnt the fire. Love when kids do that. So I've got this concealer palette which it's supposed to be a concealer palette but I've always wanted to try it for contouring and I've never actually used it. I've used it like once. So before I throw it away I think I'm going to test it in this video and then I will do bronzer over the top. Damn that's dark. So I blended it in and it just disappeared. Let's take my next oldest product. I think it's the oldest bronzer I have. It's a duo compact, so it's got 
a highlighter and a bronzer in it. You might recognise the package. This is from Sleek. I'm pretty sure I've had this since 2005, so it's about five years old, which is crazy. With this, you have to be so so light-handed because this is for this is dark, so it's obviously more for dark complexions. So you're lighter than me, definitely. I don't even know if they still sell this anymore, actually. Where's my bronzer powder on? Just do a light tap. Right, you can see that, like, bam already. I'm going to use this highlight because it's technically my oldest highlighter because my oldest highlighters are from 2017. You actually can't. Oh god, I've still got green highlighter on this brush. It's coming out. Definitely wash your brush, kids. The brown isn't even like going over it, it's just sitting on top. Oh my god, so we're back again. Finally found a palette that I can like reach. Because basically I tried to clean and sort out my makeup collection so I basically just threw all my palettes in like one of my drawers in my wardrobe. So I'm trying to go through them and see which ones I like and which ones I can give away. I finally found the famous Soap Palette by Soap Does Nails. The first original one, I won't really... I didn't like the look of her second palette so I didn't get it. But something I can work with because there's mattes and shimmers. I don't know why I have just shimmer palettes and I don't even use them so maybe I should stick them on my depot. First I'll do pancakes because it's basically the same colour as my eyes so a nice little base. Shall we take peaches? No let's take danger because let's use colours I've never I never use. So it's like a nice pinky colour. And just do that in the crease. Okay, that is done. So next, maybe, I don't know if I should go straight in with a shimmer or maybe do some cut grease. Maybe I'll do a cut grease because then I can use another concealer that I got in 2017. It's Kick-Ass Concealer by Second Glory. Oh, nearly dropped it. Everyone was hyped on this. I never used it until like, Literally this year, I've started using it and I've just hit pan. <laughs> Let me do petrol because it's a duochrome, like a bluey greeny colour. So let's try that. The two colours don't actually look bad together. It's also not two colours I would normally put together. I got this in August 2017. So 2017 was basically the year for MAC for me. And well, the spoonie is like broken off. <laughs> this is in the colour Velvet Stone. I don't actually, well as you can see, it's, it's full left so I don't actually ever reach for it. 
right now I've been loving like my gouache pencil that is bomb I like it very well it doesn't do a tail Okay, let's move on to brow gel. I only have three. Two of them I bought this year, so Benefit is my oldest one. Not sure how old it is. So I got this in 2018, in April. In May 2017. And literally, you can just see, like, it's new enough brand new. So let me get my eyeliner brush. It's definitely, this is so black and we all know how gel works. I think it's just that type of eyeshadow you can't, I don't think you can wear eyeliner this look. Cause it's like not showing up. Oh, I think that came out pretty well. Onto the other eye. Maybe I should sell this. There's a lot of makeup I should probably sell after this video and go through. So next, I move on to mascara. Recently, because it was becoming 2020, I decided to kind of go through a lot of my makeup and check it out. So, so the oldest. Mascara I have here is Essence Lash Princess, which I got in 2019 because it was for my Essence One Brow Makeup kind of video. Actually, I haven't actually uploaded that. Mascara is done. I definitely don't look as good as Manny did in his video, which is where I got inspired to do this video, right? I think the only thing left now is to do lips. I could be extra and be like lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. I just looked at my lip liners and there's only one lip liner that I have from 2017. And I actually got it in a gift box. I can't remember what brand I was using. Okay, so I found the lip liner. It is from the brand Rodeo, which is hella, hella expensive. It's like £20 for a lip liner. The foundations are like £50, and they're not even like... I want to say the name brands. They're not... Well, they're not like L'Oreal or Marc Jacobs or like Fenty Beauty. They don't have that massive name on them, but they're still hella expensive. But as soon as I tried it, I fell in love. It's in the shade Big Apple. There's nothing else to say about this. This is like an old, I used to wear this like every day, like I was obsessed. But like I said, I don't wear lip liners, so that's probably why I stopped wearing it. It's just a nice, muted, everyday pink. Shade Teeny Tiny, it's a pinky colour, to go with the pink look. So it's a tad darker than my... So my oldest lip gloss is on the 15th of August 2017 I bought this. It is from Collection, it's called Sparkling Lights and it so happens to go with the colour theme of my lip liner and lipstick. Oh I hate this, probably going to remove this as soon as I end the video. I think I've just found another product I can throw away. That is He's doing a full face of my inspired makeup. I definitely wouldn't use the bronzer, way too dark, and the contour bronzer I use. The concealer, the first one, Rimmel. Basically, all of them products are just gonna go in the bin right now because. What is that? The eyeliners are fine. I think I need to start using my ColourPop eyeliner more. Eyeshadow. Definitely do not choose with eyeliner. Pro tip for the palette I love. The brows. I actually kind of like the brows, even though I never use the MAC pencil, I just never go for it. If 
foundation. You can't fool Mac. It looks bomb AF, but also, <laughs> who knows what I'm gonna wake up to. I could be breaking out here, there, everywhere. That is the end of my video. If you guys liked, subscribe. If you haven't seen Manny's makeup video, you should probably go see it because it's well, <laughs> it's better than mine. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.